Hello everyone! This video is part of the 1000 kick series, so we are going to do 100 front kicks, which is called apchagi in Korean. The front kick is useful for hitting your opponent in the groin or doing a snap kick to the chin. This basic taekwondo kick is very useful and I suggest that you get to learn this first. So, let's start with it. I will break down the front kick's sub-motion in one by one. Then I will talk about some difficulties associated with the kick and offer some solutions. So, we are going to do 10 types of kicks in this series 100 times. This will add up to a thousand kicks. Make sure that you warm up and stretch before we do it. So first, when you do the apchagi, just aim to the lower section, which is called najunde in Korean. When you are a little bit more flexible and stretched and warmed up, then you can aim for the middle section, which is called kaunde. Apchagi is a straight attack and very quick. The first 50 kicks should be very slow and very precise. We are making sure that you actually know how to do the apchegi. So, your target should be straight in front of you. Your hips should be squared. First, lift your knee up towards the target, then drive your foot out towards the target by straightening your knee. So, lift your knee high up and do it again. Very good. And straighten your leg and do the kick. Then place your foot back to the ground. So just so you clear, your knee bends, then straightens, and then it bends again. Great. Here is more detail. Your foot position is very important for an effective taekwondo front kick. You are aiming to strike through the target with the ball of your foot. To get this right, try pointing your toes like a ballerina, then pull your toes back by leaving your ankle in the same position. So your foot is extended, but your toes are back. The ball of your foot is called apkumchi in Korean. It might take you a while to build up the strength in your foot to do this. When you are feeling more comfortable, you are doing the kick to the high section, which is called nopunde. To get more power in the kick, you need to use your hips. Your taekwondo front kick should penetrate forwards into the target. And to do this with power, you need to drive your hip forwards into the kick. But not so much that you end up leaning backwards, that's very important. Your standing foot also needs to rotate a little bit. This helps you to use your hips properly. As your kicking leg comes through, it allows your standing foot to naturally turn outwards about 45 degrees. Keep your knee up through the kick. It is important that your knee doesn't drop until your foot has come back. And as always, posture and core strength are important. Try if you can to keep your body upright and allow the kick to happen independently of your body. It is great if you can keep your abs tight and your shoulders relaxed. First, try building strength by doing slow front kicks. Then, when you are getting more advanced, you can do the front kicks as quick as possible to make sure that the front kick is a quick, snappy kick to the chin or to the groin. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. See you later.